Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Jikoni Yangu where we do simple and amazing recipes at the comfort of your home. My name is Sebi for those who are new to this channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and if, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back and showing support towards this channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you my special recipe of eggs mixed with spinach. Guys, I kid you not, this recipe was tamu sana. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really supports this channel. I'd comment down below. Um, let's get into the video and let me just show you how we make this amazing. Make sure you watch the video till the end. This is what it looks like. The mayai mixed with spinach, stroke eggs mixed with spinach. Make sure you stay till, till the end so that you can know how we make this amazing delicacy. So here we are and we have our spinach freshly washed and cut. We have our six eggs. And by the way, my spinach was for 50 shillings. And then we have our tomato puree. That's half an onion and four tomatoes blended all together. And then we have half of the other onion chopped, one tablespoon of Royco cube, one teaspoon of paprika and one um chili cube, beef cube. So here we go and we have our pan and we want to add in our onions like so and we are going to let our onions cook until they brown up because that is where the flavor is at if you know what if you know what i mean by that if you know you know so we are going to stir that a little bit for some time and at this point we are going to build the flavors up we are going to add in our beef chili cube at first and we are going to mix that and then we're going to add in our paprika also, our one teaspoon of paprika inside this mixture. If you're going to use um a ho ho, don't use paprika. Since I don't have my ho ho, I'm just going to use paprika. And at this point, I'm adding salt to taste. And as you can see, my onions are beginning to brown up nicely the way I like it to brown up. When your onions brown up like this, know the delicacy, the delicacy is about to be born. So the next thing we're going to do, we are going to add in our spinach like so. We are going to cook it until its water finishes. So make sure you stay tuned and see what I mean by that. So at this point, I'm just adding in my spinach and we're going to cook it until the water finishes. So we are going to mix that all up together. The flavors, I have already built in my flavors so well. So I know this spinach is, is bomb. At this point, I can hear the, um, I can smell the amazing aroma. So far, if you haven't subscribed, check your subscribe button. Have you subscribed? Comment down below. So this is the water that I'm talking about. When you cook your skooma or your spinach and this, this water appearing, make sure you cook it until there is no water inside your sufuria. It's just that. And at this point, we are going to add in our tomato puree that consists of half an, a half of one large onion and four tomatoes. And then I'm going to add it inside there. Remember, my spinach was the quantity of 50 shillings. So that is what we are going to add in. And then we are just going to mix it up all together. Yeah. And let it cook for some time. And the next, next thing we are going to do, we are going to add in our roiko. We are topping up our flavors and that is how we've built up our amazing flavors all together. I kid you not, try out this recipe and you will tell me, you will tell me. I love this recipe because it's also on a budget. There's everything nice about this, this recipe. So let your tomato puree boil like that. And then at this point when it's boiling like that, it has produced a thick paste on the spinach. Add in your six beaten eggs, guys. And I didn't add salt inside my eggs for your information. I just added in my eggs and the salt and the salt that I've the only salt that I've added to this food was the one that I added while I was prepping the spinach. So you're going to let it cook on low heat and make sure you keep on stirring it so that we can get the outlook that we want. Yeah, we don't want it to also stick onto the sufuria, so that's why I'm doing this.
So make sure you cook on medium heat so that we can get the results we want. We don't want our eggs to look wet. We want for it to look dried up at least so that we can know that our food is ready. And at this point, our, our food is doing well and I can't wait to dig in. And now our food is ready. Let's eat. Now that the recipe is done and we are here. And I just wanted to like taste. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm an African girl and I love African delicacy so so much. Make sure you try this recipe out. I've also I'm also going to drop the yellow yellow ugali recipe. So that you can know how to make your ugali at home. This recipe can be used to cook any type of ugali. So, till the next video. Bye.